Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a network printer. So if you like work in an office environment that uses a centralized network printer, I will show you how to do this. And this is very useful, especially for somebody who does des desktop support. Uh, this is something you will uh, most likely be doing. Okay, so in order to do this, um, you need to go to the uh, printer uh, that you're trying to um, add to the, the PC that you're working on. So you got to make sure that you, first of all, you got the IP address of that. Uh, printer and whether it's using any um, any ports any ports uh, if it needs to uh, if it needs the specified port in order to communicate okay so how do you do it you just click start and you go to devices and printers and then here at the user's uh, computer you would just click add printer and again you got to make sure you have the IP address of this printer um, chances are and that you will have a printer labeled somewhere on the printer itself. If not, just ask somebody else who, uh, who works in the area or maybe your coworker. Okay. So once you click the, once you're here, the devices and printers, go ahead and add printer. Click on add printer, and then here you want to select the bottom part where it says add a network wireless or a Bluetooth printer. So we've got to make sure we select this. So go ahead and select that. And usually for this uh, this part where it's searching automatically for available printers, I usually just um, since I already have the IP address, I don't need it to look for it. And chances are there might be multiple uh, printers attached to this um, to this um, to this network. So you want to make sure that you pick the right one. And you can do that by having the proper IP address for it. So just go ahead and click down here. The printer isn't uh, the printer that I want isn't listed. So go ahead and click on that. And at this part, um, you might want to. And I don't know how it's set up at your work depending on the size of the business, I suppose, but most likely your printer is a um, TCP IP address or a, or, or a host name associated with it, which means you would have to have a um, either a host name or the IP address. So this is why we got the IP address. We have that written down. And here we just got to make sure it's selected, um, um, that it's selected uh, for so, and then click Next. And then in here, you want to leave this auto detect. Um, it's just fine. It doesn't really make a difference. And here, you're just going to type in the name of the IP address. In my case, this is my IP address. So my IP address is 192.168.0.1, and then it's um, and then colon and 9100 is the port for the communication. And then port name, you can just leave it that as default. Um, query the printer and automatically select the driver to use. If you're at a business environment, uh, chances are you have one of those really large network printers that will. Uh, um, that, that can uh, push the, the driver to the uh, to the workstation that is trying to install it. So, and of course, you got to make sure you do have the driver for this. Otherwise, you won't be able to go any further from this. So, you got to make sure that you have the IP address. And then, in order to get the proper driver, you got to make sure you know the exact name and model of the printer. So here, you just go ahead and click Next. Okay, and here it didn't find it. But that's okay for the sake of the demonstration. I will go ahead and click on custom. Chances are you won't have to do this at all. It will just find it because it will be set up like that by default. And the reason it's not finding for me right here is because of the security settings that I have. Uh, but it, you, you, chances are you won't even see this pop up. So I'm just going to click next so we can proceed to the next window. And here it is. And in here you would pick the manufacturer and the model of your uh, printer that you're trying to install. And in case you don't see it here, uh, for example, you need, uh, in my case, I need the um, uh, Canon M uh, MP250 series printer. And um, initially when I did this, I had to click, uh, the driver wasn't there, so I went ahead and clicked Windows Update. And this, if you click Windows Update, which I'll go ahead and do right here, uh, it may take a while to basically, what it does, it just goes to the Microsoft, um, it co communicates to Microsoft, um, that you want to download all the additional and updated printers that they have in their library. So this may take a few minutes, as it says here, which I will uh, um, speed up for you. So now that, download, now that the Windows Update uh, downloaded all the available um, printer drivers, we can go back and um, you know find the one that we need. Um, so I'm just going to click Select Canon. I'm just going to scroll down. Okay, now it's uh, see as you can tell this time when I scrolled all the way down, mine is not located there. So I will have to look for it, and it was MP250. Hopefully we can find it real quick here. And the MP260, just a moment. I, okay, I'll speed this up for you. So here we go, I found our printer. So I got it selected here. So I'm just gonna go and click Next. 
and it's going to ask you whether you want to uh, keep the currently installed driver which uh, only comes up if you already installed it. it either way is fine so you can just click next and then you can name it whatever you want I'm just going to leave it at Canon MP250 series printer leave it at that and you can here you can actually specify location if there are like multiple uh, printers in the area and you know you got to make sure that uh, you know the user knows which the like location it's like for example in front of cubicle 55 for example so you would just type that in you know in here so that the user knows what that is and then click next and then it's gonna install it you most likely will not get this pop up on the um, on the uh, on any business environment but you know depending on the the settings that you're in but here it's up to you you can either share it yeah, I usually click do not share this printer because it's already available on the network so I'm just gonna click next you can, here you can print a test page and if you noticed it popped up here because it installed it and it says it's it's set at default and of course you want to make sure it's set at default so that the user knows how to uh, so it's it's you know so the user can just print right away and in order to like if for example if you just want to switch it over in case you didn't know you can just right click set as default whatever you want so you just gotta make sure that this one is set as default and there you have it guys it's pretty simple so and then you know if uh, um, if you have any questions about this, just feel free to leave a comment. Um, if you like the video, share it with friends and family. And look forward to more videos. Have a good one. Bye-bye.